How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Everyone in the world, everyone, at least in the crypto world, is watching Larry Fink right now. We got some news yesterday, uh, what BlackRock plans to do moving forward, how much money they have set on the sidelines. I made a video about that, but I wanted to talk to you about how crazy Fink is going right now. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one. While you're down there, there is a link to Marjax where you can trade cryptocurrency, and I'll leave a link to Fink as well. Now, everyone's watching Bitcoin, everyone's watching Larry Fink right now. Everyone wants to know what BlackRock's doing, and yesterday we got news that BlackRock had over $2 billion lined up uh, in week one for their Bitcoin spot ETF coming from Van X Matthew Sigal. Now, this is huge. This is huge money. Now, I don't know if this is actually happening. I don't know whether uh, they actually have that $2 billion lined up because afterwards Matthew said that he can't vouch for that, which makes sense. He's from a different company. But it seems like BlackRock has been secretly working in the background for a long time. Then they announced their ETF applications, their intentions, and it would make sense to me that they would have a lot of money lined up to show that they are the leading place to get their e to get your ETF needs if you're looking at Bitcoin. Now, in case you didn't see my video yesterday where I mentioned this, the fact is when you put in a large amount of money or you buy a large amount of Bitcoin, I should say, typically there's a multiplier effect. So if you buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, usually it pushes up the market cap 20 to 25 X that amount that you bought. So you buy $1 billion, that can translate to a 20 or $25 billion uh, increase in the market cap. Now, of course, that only happens if there's not uh, an equal seller on the other side, right? If you're just buying it off exchanges or something like that, you're not doing it OTC. But if they really do have $2 billion worth of new money, that could push up the market cap about 5%. Not to, not to mention the fact that there will be people that see that and get super bullish and say, hey, if they're going to have $2 billion at first, they're probably going to have tens of billions or tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars weekly flowing in there as well. So people are going to be paying attention to that, maybe get hyped up, the price goes up even faster. Now, of course, I'm not saying that necessarily everything's going to go perfect. We also know that a lot of companies are working on ads right now. I would not be surprised if BlackRock is working on an ad that blows people out of the water. They're going to want to spend a lot of money to get money in right now. Uh, they have a lot of financial advisors that they can push this ETF through. So I've been watching this for a long time. Everyone's been talking about Larry Fink for the last year or something. And as you know, I am largely Bitcoin in my portfolio, but I have been looking at meme coins because I mean, we've had meme seasons where these cryptos have gone up 10, 20, 100 X. And I've been waiting for a good meme coin, which is why I started to actually buy Fink a couple days ago. I have talked about this just a few times, but since we talked about it, it went absolutely nuts. I bought a small amount, just small because, you know, it is something that's risky. I bought a small amount in and told my Patreon about it a couple days ago. Now, if you want to buy Fink yourself, the easiest place to do it is probably PancakeSwap. Now, a few days ago, it was small enough that you had to copy and paste the contract address. I'm not sure if you still have to do that, but I'll leave the contract address underneath the video. Just make sure it matches with the name Fink, but you should be all set in case you want to buy it. Now, I'm not telling you to buy it, but I just want to make it easier for you in case you do. I bought. We also talked about it in HG Access, which is a group that I am part of with a bunch of other influencers. And we talked about it there. Let me show you when we got in. So Tyler gave this alpha report, giving a lot of information, letting you do your own research. But this is a company that has 21, or this is a crypto that has 21 million fair launch tokens. 100% circulating supply, liquidity is locked, ownership renounced, KYC and audits done. And they do have a website as well. They're on Dex tools. They sent themselves to coin market cap. Let's actually see if that's available. But take a look at this. So yes, you can see the price here. Uh, and it is connected to trading view. Let's take a look at when we got in over on the discord. Market cap was 385,000 price was 0.018. It's nearly 5x that <laughs> since just a few days ago. And the fact is, I, I know that they are doing more marketing. 
from here on out. They still have more marketing. There are more people getting in on it. And you can see that. You can see that there are more people getting in because you can look at Fink BSE. And I'll leave links to this all underneath the video. Full disclosure, I do have a position in Fink. I will probably take profits if we continue to moon like this. But there is ample liquidity. I mean, take a look at this liquidity. It's almost a third the total market cap at this point. So uh, they have been growing in holders, 501 holders. This was just as of two days ago. And then if you follow up, they have 645 holders and then they grew to a $1.2 million market cap. Now they're at 812 holders and they have a $1.45 million market cap. They were even higher earlier. They pumped up to like 0.08. So I want to bring this up because one, there's a link to HG Access. You can get it underneath the video. We're pointing out cryptos like this. We're never going to tell you to buy. We're not a, some kind of signals group or anything like that. We're just giving alpha. But as you can see, that alpha sometimes goes up 300, 400, 500%. And then two, I want to show you it because the ETF still isn't decided. This could still get a lot of attention if the ETF gets approved. Um, if everyone's looking at Larry Fink, you know, there's still an opportunity here in case you were looking to research a little bit more. I'll leave links to it underneath the video. Now, this is a partner of the channel. It is one that I'm invested in, but it's still got such a great narrative and they did everything perfectly, I think, in terms of um, being as legitimate as possible. Like if you go and look at them on Dex Tools, uh, they have a 99 out of 100 or 99 out of 99 Dex Tools deck score because the contract is verified. They're not a honeypot. They have no buy tax, no sell tax. They pass their audit and they are second trending over on deck screener in BSC. So a lot of people are paying attention to them. A lot of people probably are pissed off that they've done so well. I mean, the last 24 hours up 74%, still a good amount of liquidity, like I said, which I, I really appreciate. I look at that too. Um, you can see someone has been buying pretty heavy a lot of people have been buying, but someone I saw bought a lot of Fink tokens. Now, as always, do your own research, right? I'm not telling you to buy anything. I can't tell you to buy anything, but it is an interesting narrative and it is one of the first meme coins that I really bought into the narrative in a while. I, I've i seen a lot of marketing as well. I see a lot of people talking about it. on Twitter. I'm talking four or five creators, um, meme coin holders that are getting more followers on Twitter, and they do seem to be gaining some steam. I mean, like I've said, sometimes money begets money, meaning if a lot of money flows into something, more money flows into it because it's done well, more and more people want to pay attention to it. But of course, you know, it can always fall too. So make sure that you're not putting like your life savings in any meme coin. That's always been something that I have been um, adamant about. But again, <laughs> I, I, I like it. So definitely check it out underneath the video. If you want to ask me any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I have bought some. I am interested in it. I'm going to keep on probably talking about it because it's doing so freaking well. It's up 4x since we talked about it a little while ago. And um, yeah, just really cool how well this is done. Again, you can check out HG Access if you're interested in that. Uh, let me know your thoughts too on what Larry Fink's going to do next. I feel like BlackRock has been a little bit quiet. Like we've had people from Van Neck start talking. We've had um, some people from Bitwise as well. But Larry Fink hasn't gone on any interviews recently. Like he hasn't been on CNBC pumping up Bitcoin or talking about how it's a reserve asset or a flight to quality or anything like that or how crypto is going to be bigger than any one individual currency. We haven't heard from him in a while. So I'm curious what he's doing, if he's just waiting, if he's so busy with this Bitcoin ETF or end of year or what, what have you, maybe he's getting ready for something big. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section as well. Let me know if you think he's gearing up for something. Also, be careful. There are a lot of scammers and spammers in the comment section. A lot of people ask me, like, can I get rid of them? And honestly, I either have to approve everyone individually, all their comments, and then sometimes comments get left behind, or... I have to delete all the spammers one by one and you have to press like three buttons for every scammer. And I post multiple videos a day. So it's it's nearly impossible unless I spent hours each day trying to do that. So just be careful down there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.